Now, images like this of U.S. Postal Service blue boxes being hauled away have people in our area wondering what changes to the post office mean for us here in Tennessee. Some are already seeing slower mail delivery times and wondering what it means for absentee voters specifically. 10 News reporter Shannon Smith looks at what changes to the USPS mean for East Tennessee. Someone sent me this letter from Florida on Monday and it got here on Saturday. That's six days. The USPS says standard letters should make it anywhere in the US in one to three days. This letter didn't need to be here on a certain day, but sometimes just a couple days is too late. It affects people getting their medications. It affects the mail in ballots. It, it affects people paying their bills. Macy Brown luckily isn't waiting for medicine, but as an artist and a small business owner, she's worried about what a jeopardized postal service means for getting products to her customers. I also sometimes send original paintings through the mail, and I'm very concerned about those not getting to the right place or those getting delayed. She says she isn't upset with postal workers, but is worried for what's happening on a national level that could harm the USPS. It's hard to do everything that you can if you're being stripped of these things that you need to get your job done. Things like staff, overtime and equipment. This post from Mark K. Wood on Facebook shows a mailbox missing from in front of the Carnes USPS location. A post office spokesperson could not confirm if it was taken recently, but hundreds of shares and comments show people concerned about sending mail, receiving it on time and what this means for mail in ballots. Knox County Election Administrator Chris Davis says they can handle the ballots, but don't wait until the last second to request one and mail it in. You know who's going to be on the ballot, so you know you ought to go ahead. If you know you're going to vote in November and you know you don't want to go to the polls, uh, go ahead and request that absentee ballot. Now. In Knoxville, I'm Shannon Smith. East Tennessee Congressman Tim Burchett says he has sent letters to both the Postmaster General and a Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. In a statement, Burchett says, while I appreciate Postmaster General DeJoy's intentions to create a more efficient federal postal service, it is clear these changes are not actually making operations more efficient. He says the changes are disrupting critical mail services. In a separate letter, he tells Speaker Pelosi that he believes the House should address the wider impact of the pandemic, not just the postal service.